A parish register. Must have been a big river once. Mm -hmm. What's that you're playing? Troll flute. Something's been buried. Troll hool day. Sleepy tea. The recipe needs valerian flour, whisper vine flour, and a soper lily. A giant cat! Well, that looks uninviting. This tree's not looking so healthy. Maybe this was a place for making wishes. I want to go home, but I can't remember where it is. The ground's all freshly dug up. Hey, little guy, do you live here? I do. I won't go back. Let's see what's down here. What is this place? It's the bear. Wonder what these symbols mean. Okay, hop into my bag and we'll get you out of here. Oh gosh, we're gonna go down the stairs. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Welcome back. I am in a potion lair. It looks like kind of like a little secret witch's room. Let's take a look around at... Hmm. Okay. So, what's this? I found an empty jar. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, what did I find? A trowel. The trowel could come in handy in that little house near the church where we needed to dig something up. Uh-oh. You enjoy taking my things, do you? Uh, am I hearing things? The sound of your conscience, perhaps? I'm sorry, uh, where, whoever you are? I'm just trying to find my brother. And does that warrant petty theft? No! Uh, but there was a monster and it took him. And there are trolls and trees with eyes and... I'm supposed to find some guardians to help me. <gasps> hmm. Did you say guardians? The Jotnar? Huh? Yes. Do you know where they are? So you're the girl the forest is whispering about. The forest? Whispering? Yes. I think I can help you. You can? Really? Perhaps. But there is dark magic at work. The forest folk are afraid. We keep ourselves hidden now, as a matter of course. So what can we do? I will help if you help us. First, we must make sure you can move unseen. I shall make you a powerful mask. You will need to gather materials. Okay, if it will help, what do you need? First, the essence of... Oh look, I'll just write it down for you. <laughs> the pen is... the paper's moving! Oh gosh! There, just bring the ingredients to my cauldron. Come and check the list whenever you need. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, I will. Oh golly, we have another quest. Oh goodness golly, here's the cauldron. It's bubbling away. Ah, oh, it's bubbling away nicely. <laughs> I'm becoming one with Tuve. We think the same. Uh, there's all these drawers over here. I can't sneak a flower. Okay, let's look at the list. Right, what do I need? The skull of a ram? Where am I gonna find that? Uh, Pretty morbid start. Two natamare parasites. Huh? Nata nightmare parasites? They don't sound good. No, they are foul things twisted by dark energy. They feed on power in exchange for strange visions. You will know them when you see them. Okay. Lastly, I need the hair of a bearded croak. Ah, uh, yes. That one may be tricky to procure. You might try searching around bodies of water. Ponds, lakes, pools, that sort of thing. And the hairs will just be lying around? I doubt it. You may need leverage. Sounds ominous. Why would I need... Just remind her of her sons. Offer to help. Okay, got it, I think. She doesn't know that we have two croaklings in our backpack. 
Like, literally, they're just hanging out right here. They are her sons. We just don't know where she is. Great. Another quest. Okay, so we keep trying to end quests by starting new quests. This guy was very sad. I wonder what would happen if we showed him that we have his brothers. Oh, I've got to cross, but there must be a less slimy way. Oh, really? We can cross here? I want to talk to him. Still enjoying your swampy pond? I am. I never want to leave. Can I just show him? Like, can I free these guys? Ah. Uh. Hmm, it didn't do anything. Okay, well, listen. My best lead right now is that I have a trowel and I have the rootway system so I can very easily go through the roots to the other places. I'm just gonna see if this does anything. Okay, so here's my best guess. There was something buried in here and I don't know particularly, it's probably just the start of another quest, but it was like saying that I needed to dig it out and now I actually have a trowel. So I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Let's have a look. I suppose buried treasure is always this muddy. What is it? I wonder who buried this patterned disc here. It's a second patterned disc. Okay, this is good. I mean, it's not good because it really didn't help us, but we have two patterned discs. I don't know why we need them, but it's something. I feel like there was another area that we could cut through. <gasps> there is, there is, I know where it is. Well, it's kind of far. In fact, I wonder if it's just a tree because it's crazy that we don't have a, a faster way over there. But if you run basically all the way across here by the crow's nest, wasn't there something that you could cut through? Yes, yes, right here. I remembered. Okay, we can cut through this. Let's get rid of this. Hey, that wasn't bad. Go to me. Oh my, it's the wolf area. But where? We're going up into the mountains. Oh, there's wolves. Hi. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. This seems like a very far way to go. Phew. I think I, I hope I'm nearly there. I just keep getting higher up in the mountains. It's so old, deserted, and quiet, but it feels like something's watching me. Still, Lots of wolf statues, so I must be getting closer. Okay. I hope we find a tree growing up here because otherwise this is a very long way to keep going. Ooh, wow. <gasps> oh my. Oh, wow. Looks like an eye. This could be a place where we have to use the stone discs that we've been collecting. I don't know why, it's just like the color palette seems to sort of fit with it. Um, oh, we can look at all of these wolf statues. It's another wolf. Oh, it looks like it can be moved? What? Oh my gosh, it's like a, this is the, oh! Who needs magic when you got muscles? Oh, I haven't figured out the pattern yet. And what are these guys? Four wolves howling at the moon. Huh? Must be a connection. Uh -huh. I guess it relates to the statues. Yeah, well, so we could just mirror them, right? Like, it seems like this one would have to come, like, this way. All the way. Can it go farther? Is this just it? Is this... This might be the easiest puzzle ever. 
Maybe not. One more. No. Uh-oh. I'm trying to think here. Was there... Okay, so if we walk back... Oh, look at this. Look at that. That one's totally covering that one now. This is it. This is it. I think if we have to... Maybe we have to slide them to the exact spot where they are then... We just have to run all the way back now and see if that was far enough. No. I think one more, maybe? This might not be right, but it seems like it could be that if we line them up to their shadows... I don't know. That one's not perfect still. Do you think this one still needs to come another one here? That's better. Let's work on these other ones. Maybe that one, maybe that one's enough. I don't think I really got a good sense for how far these need to go. And that back one's pretty close. I think I'll do the back one once and the forward one twice, maybe? One more. And then maybe this one too, one more? Oh! I did it! I'm through! Ah, oh, we did it! Ooh, this is too cool. But, but where are we going? Ooh, okay. There's some stones that have constellations on them. Okay, I've written in my journal and I need to see what it says. Reminds me of the night sky. Mm -hmm. What is it for, though? It looks like another puzzle. Okay. Wolf ruins. Found an old cavern with some kind of puzzle. I hope it's the key to opening the door. Another puzzle room and more wolves. I'm definitely getting closer. Hmm. Oh. What does this do? Oh, my. Okay. So these move the discs. Not in order, though. Typical. Hmm. If I get the outer ring right first, then go from there. Was this the one that was controlling the outer ring? No. Uh, this one's controlling the outer ring. I kind of want to come back out here and look at these constellations. I don't suppose that this is just one of the constellations. Let's turn this outer one and see if we see anything that looks familiar. Huh. This guy moves the middle. <sighs> I wonder if there's an actual... Well, that looks kind of lined up there. I was going to say, I wonder if there's an actual like way to see a reference or if it's just sort of like figuring it out this way because it almost looks like we might be able to line it up ourselves it's like a safe almost like it had the common oh, oh 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 so close so i i'm assuming that there must be a way to turn these where it actually lines up come on come on come on come on Yes! Okay! That lined up. That lined up. I don't know if I could ever recreate that, though. So now let's just pray that this somehow lines up. Yes? Huh. I thought I did get the outer ring right. Okay, I'm going to come back and look at the statues. It's the one on the, the second from the right. But... Well, this should be right. The middle is messed up. <gasps> What's happening? Yes! It opened. I'm good. Real good. All right. Okay, but what is up here? Oh my gosh, what? 
Wait a minute. We need a tree. Look at that view. Who built all this? Are we going the right way? We have, we're, oh, a tree, a tree. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like the path continues up ahead. If I can find a way over there. Remember the lake that we're supposed to be crossing as well? Hmm. More wolves. I must be getting close to one of the guardians, but what's this staff for? Looks like there's one missing. There's a socket, but no second staff. I should take a look around. Okay. This place is so high up, I can see for miles. It looks like I need to find a way across a big gap where a bridge should be. I have a feeling I need to find a second wolf staff to make it work. Maybe someone around here has seen it. Okay, but maybe we should unlock, scare away these crows and unlock this tree so that we have a waypoint so that we can actually come back here because we are so far away. Eep, let me see if I can free you. Phew, they were tough. <gasps> you, you saved me. I thought they would never go away. <laughs> Phew, I'm so glad that you're okay. The great mother tree sent me to find you. She did? Oh, I'm so happy. I've been all alone here on this ledge for centuries. Wait, I think, is that you, Great Mother? Ah, we are reconnected. Here, child, our rootways are yours to use. Ah, thank you. Okay. So, let's see here. The staff has a beautiful carving on a wolf of it, uh, on it, but what is it for? Oh, we can take it? We can turn it. <gasps> if I turn it, it moves the wolf statue as well. Can't seem to pull it out to use on the other side, though. Okay, but let's turn it again. Because now the wolf is this side. The wolf is facing the right way. But now we just need to be able to turn this one. There's definitely a gap for something to be placed here. I bet it's for another staff, but I don't see it anywhere. Now, there does look to be like a bird's nest over here, maybe? Oh my gosh. Are those hands? What in the world? <gasps> a ram skull? What are the odds? But that's what was on the list. Okay. We have to climb this? Sure. Seems dangerous. Oh my gosh. She's a good climber. Okay. Alright, what's this right here? Is this a flower? This plant looks familiar. Aha. Valerian flower! Hey, it's all happening. It's all coming together. I'm being watched, but by what? <laughs> it's too dark, too risky. I need to be alive to help Larsh. What would Papa do if he were here? Yeah. He'd make a torch so he could see what he was up against. What am I going to make a torch out of? Tuve, I ask you. I have a jar, and I have a match, and I have a rag. I mean, you could combine a match with a rag, but... And then put it on the sword or something? I'm not going to light the frogs on fire. I'll burn my fingers if I set that alight as is. So can I, can I, maybe if I tie it to something less flammable. So I'm going to tie my rag to my sword. They won't go together. I'm going to tie my rag to my trowel because I've already used my trowel. Uh -huh. That didn't do anything. Yeah, okay. We're going to look for a stick, I think. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that we have. I'm not going to tie a rag to a, a frog. There's other places around here that we haven't explored, so I'm going to look at that and see. Also, just what even is this? Giant hands carved from ice. At least I hope they're carvings. Oh gosh! The hands! What are they doing? Am I being invited in? It certainly seems that way. We unlocked a new badge. 
Oh my goodness. <gasps> Ooh. What is this area? <gasps> what is this? Music. It calls to you, child. You seek something. Fossigrim. Let Fossigrim help you find it. My brother, a little boy. Have you seen him? No child has entered our waters in such a long time. But we hold many hidden things. Step in and see. Um... I don't think so. Humph! My younger sibling would simply pull you beneath. I can't seem to lure anyone in these days. That's not a very nice way to greet visitors. I am a spirit of water. Water is not nice. It flows with the notes of my song. It can nurture or destroy, depending on the melody. Your music makes the water do what you want? Wow. Indeed. Do you have an instrument you wish to master? No. Surely you have an offering. Sorry, also no. So what brought you to my path? I need to get the Jotnar. Guardians? They leave no ripples on our pond now. I can reach them, but I need a staff with a wolf head on it. A rock creature brought something like this to me. But what use is a staff? I require food for my services. She wished to enchant a flute to return her brothers, she said. <laughs> Troll Hilda. She gave no name. She was wise in one way, at least. I'll ask her if she still has it. Thanks. Okay, well, we know that Troll Hilda has the flute, but we need to make her the sleepy tea in order to get it from her. But maybe she'll just give it to us now. Or we only need one more flower in order to brew the tea. What a mess. Who left all these plates? Those who sought my favor. With what? Their desire to master their music. To make it flow in them as the river. Rise in them as waves. Some even wished to command the water itself. And to do this, they just needed to bring you a meal? Their instrument and a meal, yes. To control water. That can't be all. It sounds too easy. Your wits are sharp, child. You would like to gain this power for yourself, yes? I suppose because at the very, very original place that we were in, we needed to cross some water. So if we could control the water, I think that would work. It does sound tempting. Then you must satisfy these thirsty stones also. Their power will be needed for such an enchantment. Satisfy them, how? They must absorb the power of the three springs. One that was large, but now small. That's where Troll Hilda lives. One that was clean, but now tainted. Is that the one by the fungus? And one that hides a tragic secret long forgotten. I warn you again, child. Water is not always nice. I'll do my best. Hmm. Higher up the mountain, I found a weird creature called Fossigrim in a pool, playing all these strings like a giant watery harp. He said Troll Hilda from the bridge might have the wolf staff I'm looking for. Oh, Troll Hilda has the wolf staff. Behind the door, of course. Fossigrim says he can give me the power to play music so well, I could even make water dance. I just have to charge up three thirsty stones. 
bring an instrument to enchant, and an offering of food. What food do we have? He said to take the thirsty stones to three powerful springs in the forest. He didn't say where to find the springs, but he did give me this clue. Yes, okay. So we have to take the stones? I don't have them in my inventory now, do I? Oh. Fossagrim gave me these thirsty stones. Okay, we're good. We're good. Fossagrim, it's been real. I'm out of here, but... I still don't have anything to make a torch with. Or anything to cut down that tree. And why did I even need this ram's head for the for the invisible armor? Hmm. There's a lot going on right now. But we do have a root system now to this place. And there's only one that we're missing, which is kind of crazy. So if we come back through this one, I think I know where we can soak one if not two of the stones i know for a fact that one of the things i can do here is soak the stones in here let's see what happens if i dip this in here it soaked up loads of water it really was a thirsty stone of course just soaking this stone is not going to help we have to soak it in three different streams this is one of them but we also still need the flute and the meal as an offering. It's glowing. I hope that means it's satisfied. Okay. Think, Stacy. Think. Could this be the water that's toxic now? Maybe. I think it's worth a try. Yeah, I think just a quick dip in the water. Yay, another satisfied stone. Oh, wait a minute. The mill, could that be the secret? I don't know. <gasps> oh no, it looks like the sickness is spreading. What? It's spreading all over there. Um, down here. To the water. I think that this could be it. Possibly. Mm. Nothing happened. Must not be one of the springs. What did he say again? Check the notes in my journal. Yeah. Where did we hear about a tragic secret? It wasn't... What even was this way? It's... I'm getting all confused now. Uh, oh, right, this place. Something's buried here. Are we really going to use the trowel to bear to dig it up? That seems like it's a bad idea. <laughs> Imagine if there was treasure buried here. Oh, goodness. Uh, what is it? actual treasure i'm rich with ancient mystery coins finders keepers applies here i'm sure <gasps> the coins for good luck yes 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 the place that we just tried to dip the stones i knew that it was significant a long time ago when we were there they were saying that we could throw coins in for good luck i'm just gonna do it and see what happens okay let's throw in these coins please be a wish granting water sprite oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <gasps> what hello ah lunch has been delivered croak is this the mom Come to old mama croak, little morsel. No, don't eat me. No, wait. I can help you. I really doubt. No, your sons. I can find them for you. My croaklings? Who told you about them? I don't really know, truth be told. Hmm, I see. I do miss them, croak. All right. I'll spare you. 
At least until you find my boys. Well, I need one of your beard hairs. Uh, there's one more thing. <laughs> if I return your, uh, croaklings, I want some of your beard. My beard? Croak? You think you are worthy of such a gift? Maybe not. But for your children? Ugh! You argue well, little one. So be it. We have a deal. Thank you, Croak Mama. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's um let's give her one of her Oh my precious croakling! Okay, she's excited. Eep! Hey mama! Don't suppose this one will do. All three or no deal. Do you wish to break your promise? No, just checking. Okay, well we do have another one, but I'm still working on the third. My croakling, where have you been? Ma mama, I'll behave from now on. Okay, let's go see if we can convince him. But I don't, I don't know that the game hasn't really given me a clue as to why he doesn't want to come with me. And there's still a, a, a route way that we haven't discovered. So, and we still have to bring the ram's head, but we need a torch for that. Uh, we still need the flute now, but we need a meal as well as an offering. Uh, there's so much happening, but, but please. Hey, guess who I've been speaking to? Oh no, she's found me. <gasps> he doesn't want to go back to his mama. Your mama misses you. She wants you to come home. Well, I don't want to go home. I can take care of myself. But don't you miss her too? I can see you mean well. But you don't know what mama's like. She's always telling me to tidy my cave. Making me share with my brothers. Ugh. Is that all? Doesn't sound so bad to me. Just tell mama you couldn't find me. Hmm. hmm. This could be harder than I thought. I don't know how I'm gonna get him to come home to his mom. Let alone get all of the other things that I need. Huh. We're still missing one of the flowers that we need for the tea for Troll Hilda as well. So we can't exactly just make that tea. I'm actually not entirely sure where I want to go now. And I feel like this tree is the, the secret. We need to find this tree. But we still don't have anything to knock over that log with. And we also don't have anything to make a torch with, either. Oh, the cat! Should we just go back and talk to him? Why not? Uh... Hi! Oh, the ham. <gasps> the ham. Maybe he'll give us the ham if we make him black, and then that can be the meal for the water god. Ugh. I must sound crazy to people who are just watching this episode. Listen, I'm gonna talk to you. Hello again, Mr. Yule Cat, sir. Bear you a remedy to this accursed silver fur. Not yet. Honestly, I quite like it. Well, I do not like it. Yep, sorry, I'm working on it. Okay. Think, Stacy. Think. While we're here, let's just add the flower to the to the mortar and pestle. Why not? Just gets it out of our inventory, I guess. Okay. Aha. Just needs the so poor lily. Can I talk to you again? Like, can you help me at all? Can you like break this tree down? Do you, what do you want? Why Tuve in the forest? Not so safe for children. Not all flower eaters like Hulde. I've lost my brother. He was taken. Now I have to open a portal and wake giants. Troll sisters also alone. Hulde understands. I'm not sure troll brothers will return. I hope Tuve brother does. Thanks. 
school day. Oh gosh, they didn't offer to help me at all. I was hopeful that this troll would maybe help me push over that tree. Okay, I'm still thinking. Don't count me out yet. I think I wanna go back to the church. We have unfinished business down here. A symbol of a sun. That's new. Symbols are new. The symbol is worn off of this one. Hold on. Because there's, there's quite a few of these. Symbol of a star. This is something, you guys. This is something. Symbol of a moon. Sun, moon, star, and one is worn off. Is there somewhere in this building that we haven't been? The moon. Three dots. One, two, three. We're missing this fourth box. Sun, moon, star, and this is the moon down here. The moon. Bear with me. A king among men. Yeah, there's a lot of gravestones here and I'm not really sure if any of them. One more star in the sky. This one is so worn and faded I can't read it. Until we meet again. I don't think any of these are significant, but I mean I could be wrong. Gone but not lost. <laughs> Looks like a family grave for the Marcusons. It says they lost their daughter to the watery depths. How horrible. Ooh, a new badge. Grave thoughts. Okay, we read all the graves, I think. This gravestone has always seemed weird to me, but I guess it's nothing. What's it doing out here? I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. The moon symbol is the only symbol in the crypt where the bear is. That's the only one. That's this one. What does it say? 1623. 1623. 1623. One, six, two, three. I think we're missing a box with six dots on it. That's what I think. I think the three goes here. I think that the two goes here. But I think that there's a box that would have six dots on it that would go there to go 1623. But we don't have a cube with six dots on it. And I bet someone just has it. I bet some troll has it or I, I don't know. We've searched all the graves. Have we been everywhere around? Yes. A pretty beetle shell. That's going straight. Collectible! Not now, collectible! That's like my new catchphrase. Not now, collectible. <laughs> beetle shell. Great. We've never had to use this book. A parish register. Whoa. Contains every name of every church member since the 1700s. Why do we have this? Why do we have this book? Is the book a cube with six dots on it? I mean, I'll give it a go. Book on the grave. Huh. It worked. Haugen Jensen, aha. You can look it up with the book. <sighs> and the poor drowned daughter, she was Ignis Olaf Yolhafsen Markison. I O J M. I'll remember you. That didn't really help me. Can you do that on all of them? <sighs> Poor Ignis. 
I'm glad I could find out her name. Feels right. Okay. We have progressed the story somehow. I don't know exactly what it means, but I'm glad that we have progressed it. Why would it want us to find out her name if there wasn't anything we could do with that information? You know what? You seem to know a lot. I'm going to talk to you. Hey, Trio Mini. I have to find something called the Nightmare Parasite. Do you know what it is? Hmm. Though we have never seen one, we have heard of the Nightmare Parasite. Of course, the forest has eyes. I haven't been using it to help me. An age ago, the whole forest nearly succumbed to the Nightmare Blight. The parasites were drawn to places and beings of power. Where they took hold, darkness and chaos reigned. It was terrible. We narrowly avoided their touch. I mean, maybe the water spirit, the water guy, because he, he has power, right? Okay. I'm gonna go back. I couldn't have picked a longer way. Ugh, finally. Okay, that's the way to the water guy. Are these the nightmare parasites? What are the nightmare parasites? Hi, dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hi. How goes your quest? Eh, no staff yet. If you wish for me to begin your teaching child, you must firstly satisfy all thirsty stones, three thirsty stones, and return with your chosen instrument and an offering. Then the water will dance for you. Okay, but like, but, but sir, I have two of the stones. So like, do you want to just take those now for a minute? I got one of them. Ah, one of the thirsty stones has been quenched. Yes, well done child. Thank you. What else did you bring? Yes, uh, let me see. I also bring to you this thirsty stone. I'm just progressing the game, guys. I'm just progressing the game. Okay. Ah! One of the thirsty stones has been quenched. Great. Well done, child. Great. You need to quench just one more thirsty stone. Any tips or clues on where I might find? It's not payment if I do the work for you. You will also need to present me with your instrument and don't forget to bring an offering of food. Yeah, okay, I've got the flute lined up and I've got the ham lined up. I'm just not exactly sure where I'm gonna quench the third thirsty stone or where, the, what is this? A piece of smooth river glass. Not now collectible. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. There's so much still going on. Hilda is confusing me because Hilda needs so many things. Hilda has like a fishbone broth that she's stewing. She also wants the tea for which I need the lily that I just haven't been able to find. But Hilda's also playing the flute that I will get once she falls asleep. She also maybe has the staff. I'm just going to talk to Hilda again. I've come back in here several times and I've just looked at this and that's the tea. But what if I just try talking to her? Can I just talk to her? Hilda? Mighty Tuve, back to visit Hilda. I'm looking for something I think you have. A staff? You mean Wolfie Stick? Hilda gave to Troll Hulde to scare ravens from garden. I'll see if she still has the wolfy stick. Thanks, Hilda. Hulda is not just going to give me the staff, right? I'm confused because I've been to visit Hulda. Did I just have to go tell that to Hilda first? Were you holding out on me, Hulda? Hey, welcome back, troll friend Tuve. What's wrong? You seem troubled. Yeah, I'm troubled because I came back in here a little while ago and you just said hey to me. But now I know that you have the wolf staff. Huh? I'm looking for something Troll Hilda gave you. A staff. She called it a wolfy stick. Yes. Scared away ravens for a time. Stopped working. Too pretty. Threw it into the old pool. What old pool? Which pool? How do I get there? It was important to you. I will help you since I lost it. Come, troll friend Tuve. He's going to knock over the tree. Are you going to knock over the tree? <gasps> hmm. 
It is this way. <gasps> Past this huge spiky pit. Oh yes, the most spiky forest pit. How do you cross it? Who'll they jump in? Having many spikes in hide is mark of troll might. Uh, that explains a lot. Ow. I don't want to be impaled though. Hmm, yes, you are mighty in spirit, <sighs> flimsy in body, like a pungent flower. <gasps> Thanks. <laughs> there. Huh. That's much better. Farewell, troll friend Tuve. <laughs> Thank you. Yes! We've done it! Hulde was just holding out on us this whole time. We can now cross this spiky ravine and see what's next. Wow. What is that amazing smell? Flowers, maybe? Smells so good. Hmm, it's such a relaxing fragrance. Oh, it's the final tree. We know what to do. Use our sword. Here, allow me. Aha. Yes! <gasps> uh, what a terribly deep slumber. Things certainly seem smaller around here. I think it may have been more than a little nap. <laughs> You've grown, tree. The great mother tree sent me to find you. Oh? Yes, you're right. We have lost touch. Mm? Yes? There. Connected once more. Okay. Thank you for waking me, child. Our rootways are yours to use. <laughs> Thank you. We've connected all of the rootways. But I think I think wow. I'm getting I think I'm getting sleepy actually from these lilies. It's coming from those lilies. Now we actually need a lily. Whatever it is, it's making me feel super drowsy. Can we, can we get a lily? <gasps> Those lilies look so familiar. <gasps> Maybe they're the Sopor lilies from the recipe book. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we maybe shouldn't have done that. Noken? Nick, Nick, knock? Run! Run! Ah! 